managing your team in monday.com, how to add, remove, uh, make changes to all of your team members inside of your monday.com system. So let's head over to monday.com. And as you can see here, I'm in an example monday.com system. To make any changes to your team, invite your team, whatever, go to your initials in the top right hand corner, or it might be your icon from here, select that option and then go ahead. And we want to go to the administration option down the bottom left hand side under accounts, select administration. And then on the far left hand side here, we have got this users functionality. Now this is exactly where we want to go to. So we've got a number of different options here. First and foremost, we want to go ahead and be able to manage administrator, member or viewer access. So the first thing we're probably going to want to do is go ahead and invite our team members. To do so, just press the invite button on the far right hand side and go ahead and enter in the email address. They will be sent an email inviting them to the monday.com system. Now, before you do that, please, please, please bear in mind that you need to select the products that you want to include in the invite. So if you're using both monday.com sales CRM and monday.com work management, you need to select both of these options. So this is inviting them to both areas of the system. Now, please do take into consideration if you are paying for both work management and sales CRM and you're inviting them to both of those platforms, you're going to be paying for both those licenses. So both work management and both Monday sales CRM. So if they do not need work management, remove them as that product that's included in the invite. OK. Once you're happy, just go ahead and press invite with the email, enter in their email, and then you need to select whether they are a member or a viewer. That's free, by the way, if they're a viewer. You cannot select from here if they're gonna be an administrator, and I'll show you how to make that change in a moment. And then from here, we've got advanced, so invite to specific team if you've got teams set up, so tech or marketing, and that means when they, when they're added to the system, they'll be automatically associated with the particular team inside of the system. Once you're happy with this, just press invite, and the invite will be sent via email. Now, once they're added to the system, the likelihood is you're going to want to go ahead and change their user role if you want them to become an admin. To do so, just go ahead and under the user role, select the options and we've got admin, member, viewer and guest. So if you just want them to be a member, go ahead and make that change. Nothing really happens. And then again, for admin, it's just going to change their access rights and what they can do inside of monday.com. So hopefully that's clear. Now, next step, if you've added them to, let's say, the work management and then three months later you realize they also need access to monday sales crm in order to make that change you need to come over to the products area here from products go ahead and select i just click this option and you need to go ahead and select what they do and do not have access to so if i select monday sales crm that means that this person has got access to both of these uh, products. If I unselect work management, that means they only have access to Monday sales CRM. So you can make these changes accordingly. Work canvas and work forms are kind of just all set default anyway, so you can't make any changes. Um, but just bear in mind, if you need to add or remove access to a particular license or products, you can do that from here. Now we have status, all of these are active. We can see the teams they're associated with, when they joined, who they were invited by, and when they were last active. Super simple information. So if you want to make any changes to a user, you can go ahead, press the three dotted button. You can go ahead and edit their email address. But more importantly, we can delete and deactivate users. If I go ahead and press the deactivate option here, you're going to get a pop up warning just to make sure that you're making the right decision. And then once you've deactivated the user, that you can then go ahead and come back to this three dotted button and press delete user details. So that completely wipes them from the system. However, do remember if you just deactivate someone, you are not going to be paying for their licenses because they are deactivated. So they don't have access to the system and you're not going to be paying for their licenses. So there's an argument. So you might not actually need to delete them because if you do, it can break some of your automations, maybe some of your integrations um, and other things like that. So just bear that in mind. OK, um, but that's how to manage users um, fairly easily inside of monday.com. Now, I'm going to just show you or mention teams. So if you go to the teams option up here, manage teams, um, you can see we can create new teams. So if I want to create an example, team or maybe management team um example team is probably better and then i can add people to this particular team and then like i mentioned earlier when you are inviting new people you can allocate them to a team when they are joining the system so that's really really easy to do so team management is great because it allows you to assign a team to an item or a project as opposed to just individuals so as opposed to having to select multiple people you just select the team and all of those members in the team are automatically assigned so hopefully you are familiar with that moving on from here we've got board ownership and automations ownership i'm not going to touch on departments 
unless you have got the enterprise plan. Unfortunately, I do not. Um, but moving on from board ownership, moving on to board ownership, should I say, we can go ahead and reallocate the ownership of boards if someone leaves. So did someone leave your account? Question mark. Add a new owner to their boards, including shareable and private boards. So to do this, select the person that has left and then select the person you would like to assign all of their boards to. And then you go ahead and select that person and just press this option here, add new owner. And that transfers everything that they owned to the new person. This is great. Makes Make sure you don't lose any information. And then down here, we've got managed boards without owners. So if there's a board without an owner, we'd be able to go ahead and select that board and then add that a person as an owner to that board as well. So that's the secondary option. But I think this is a great feature, especially when someone leaves a business, you do not want all of that data going with them. So you just transfer the ownership from them to someone else. And the same principle applies for automations ownership at the top as well. So in case you didn't know, when someone creates an automation, their license or their user, they own that automation. So it's not like a blanket, everyone inside of the business, that's just an automation for everyone. They actually own it. So if someone's created a load of automations and then they leave the business, you need to make sure that you transfer it from them to someone else. Um, because otherwise all of those automations could be deleted if you delete that user. Um, even deactivating it could have an impact as well. So that's my other recommendation. Along with boards, make sure you transfer automation ownership to someone new um, if that person is leaving. So that is how to manage users inside of monday.com. I'm almost certain you did not think this video was <laughs> going to be as comprehensive as it is. Um, but anyway, I hope it was helpful. Thank you very much for watching. If you need any help setting up monday.com for your business, check out the link below. We'd be delighted to help. Thank you very much and I'll see you soon. Goodbye.